Hi, how's it going on everyone? This is Unified Gaming and today I'm going to show you how to get the sword on Shadows of Evil. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is get to a train station, doesn't matter which one, and check out the map which you will see on the wall just as you enter. Now there will be three question marks on this wall and you've got to be looking at on what side they're going to be on. So let's say we're at the floodlight district, we're going to call the train and we're going to go to the waterfront. So both of them will be on our left. Now this is where the three codes are going to be to open up this secret door, which I'll be showing you in a bit. So right now we're going to call the train, we're going to get on and we're going to select the destination which we're going to the waterfront like I said before. Now remember that whatever direction you're going you have to remember where these question marks are so it's best to check again on the map just to know where you're going and on which side you have to be looking. So again we're looking on the left both times. These codes aren't that hard to find, you just need to find them literally for the first time and you'll remember they're not hard to see. And the locations of these codes will stay in the exact same place every game. The only thing that will change is the code itself. So you're going to have to take a photo of it or write it down on a piece of paper, just anything so you remember how it is. There it is. I'll show you the other two. And like I said before, in each game they are always different. So again, we keep it to the left because we know it's always on the left hand side for this one. Both on the left. There it is. Nice simple one. Um, so yeah, just make sure you write this down or if you have a good memory you can just remember all three It's best if one person does it rather than going around as a group Unless you've got a load of zombies you need to keep them occupied So the next place we're going, we're now going down to the canal and it'll be on our right hand side So we're going to get call this train station away We're going to speed up to it and I'm going to show you what it looks like and where it is again And like I've said before, it is best to check the map a couple of times just before you leave Because if you have to go back and forth with zombies, it can become quite difficult so as we speed up to this one, it's going to be on our right hand side in a small window and um, it's a small round one you'll just see, just there. So some of them are really easy just to remember, you don't have to write them down or take a photo like I said before, but some of them you might as well just to play it safe. So now we've got all three codes, we're going to go into the Rift Room, I'll show you where this secret door is. It is literally just underneath that walkway to our right. Wait for me to turn, boom, there it is, that's what we're going to be looking at in just a moment. So to unlock it, you're going to become the beast, and then you're going to put in the three codes that you just found. So you can just, like I said, if you've got a photo of it or drawing, it's easier, but if you have to remember them, you know, you've got a couple of combinations that look quite similar, so it can be difficult. But once you put it in, you'll see it will fade away and leave the swords available for you to take. Now, we're not quite finished. There are these boxes hidden around the place. There will be four in total around the map, I should say. And um, you have to collect these eggs from out of the sword that I've just done. Now we're going to place the egg just behind me in the statue. And there are going to be four statues around the map, which I'll show you as we go along. But you will have to become the beast to break the box that protects the statue. But obviously that's nothing hard to do. Now, what you're going to have to do is charge up the souls for the egg. Now to do this, you literally just kill zombies and buy the egg. It is very easy. Well, at least the first two are. Now, what you will find is, as you do these, you will find ones that you struggle with, or you just need to find a better route, or just anything. Get the zombies grouped up first, and then go to it. Sometimes it can be difficult sitting around, but what happens is, once you complete it, like I just there, you'll hear a slight noise, and you'll know when once you've completed it, and all you have to do is pick it up and take it to the next location. Plus, the egg will be glowing if you've done it correctly. The second place is going to be in the Foodlight District, and that is going to be just in the middle underneath where the perk is. The third one we're going to is in the canal. Now that one's in the corner. Um, that'll be next to a beast mode. So it's kind of ideal for yourself if you need to break it down. And the final fourth one will be at the waterfront district. Now personally this is the hardest one to do. So for anyone that hasn't done it before. I highly recommend that you do this one first. Or if you do it with friends then you know that will be especially ideal. Once you've completed the egg, it will become completely blue in the bottom right. It will also flash up on your screen a couple of times. Once you've done this, you'll be going back into the Rift Room and you'll be collecting your sword. Now, obviously, this sword is amazing. That's why so many people want to get it. It can be difficult to do, like if you, especially if you're doing it by yourself. But a little tip for yourself, you can actually upgrade these swords, which I'll be posting in a video another time. Honestly, you'll want to see it. It is amazing. Um, so yeah, what I'm going to do quickly is show you how good this sword is. So we've got a group of zombies behind me that I've piled up for this round and we're literally going to keep pressing R2 which is the melee attack. Now this just slashes through zombies like no tomorrow, it is really easy. But it also has a special feature, look at that, it's a little lightning wave that you can do by pressing L2 and it does not get rid of the charge any quicker, it's the same rate so it's up to you if you just fly around doing this like what I'm doing now. Now to build up the charge once it has disappeared in just a moment, you're going to have to get kills 
or just wait out the rounds like waiting out the rounds is really really long so you're going to want to get some kills now one last tip for doing this i would personally highly recommend getting an upgraded gun before doing this so yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed this video please leave a like if you did and remember to share this with your friends because obviously they want to know i know it is a bit late but at least you get the full run through with myself and i tell you everything about it please leave a comment down in the comment section below if you would like me to do any tutorials for a game that i might have already done or any games that are coming out in the future so yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Alright, bye guys.